It is the police call everybody will be talking about. Thanks for joining us here at 6 o'clock. I'm Denise Valdez. I'm Brian Loftus. A family says something crashed into their backyard, prompting them to call 911, saying they saw creatures walking around. Our 8 News Now investigators digging into this for weeks now. And tonight, our David Charns with the video you will only see on 8 News Now. David? Brian, Denise, sources telling Bay News Now investigators that several agencies believe something landed or crashed, whether it was non humans or not, it certainly scared the people living on this property. Now, before we show you that video, listen to their call for help. There's like an eight foot person beside it and another one's inside and it has big eyes and looking at us and it's still there. Okay, where is this on your property? Uh, uh, in my backyard. I swear to God, this is not a joke. This is actually we so just two, terrified of it. So there's two people or two subjects that are in your backyard? Correct, and they're very large. They're okay. like eight foot, nine feet, ten foot. I don't know. They're, they look like they look like aliens to us. Big eyes. They have big eyes. Okay. Like, like I can't explain it. And big mouth. They're shiny eyes, and and they're not human. They're 100 percent. They're not human. Okay. Well, the 8 News Now investigators obtaining video as officers then responded to the call you just heard. You'll see the officers also saw something in the sky that night, but the big question is, what was it and is it all connected? Leave her alone. It's almost midnight on May 1st when a Las Vegas Metro Police officer's body cam catches this, something flashing low in the sky. 911 emergency. Minutes later. There's, a, there's like an eight foot person beside it and another one's inside and it has big eyes and looking at us and it's still there. Someone calls 911 reporting two large figures in their backyard. Uh, no, I'm so nervous right now. The 8 News Now investigators obtaining another officer's video as he's sent to the Northwest Valley home. I have butterflies, bro. Uh, Evelyn saw a shooting star. Then these people say there's aliens in their backyard. By now, mm -hmm. it's more than an hour yeah, after that here. bright light. Uh, officers meeting here. up with the caller and his family. What did you see? It was like a, it was like a big creature. A big creature? Yeah, like a long tessy top. I'm not gonna BS you guys. One of my partners said they saw something fall out of the sky too, so that's yes. why I'm kind of curious. Did you see anything yeah, land see. in your backyard? Or they see like a big. That's what they say. They see like a big, uh, like a big something with light. What I saw right now, I do believe in it. I Police know. walk into the backyard to investigate, but Metro blacked out that part of the video because it's considered private property. What's clear? They're taking this call seriously. Hey, this might sound like a really dumb question. But did you guys see anything fall out of the sky? Asking others what they yes. saw. Uh, I would normally discount it as nothing. However, um, seeing as one of my partners said they saw it too, only reason I'm actually investigating any further. That investigation turning up no concrete answers as of Wednesday. Whatever or whoever fell into that yard, long gone within minutes. Oh, hey. If, there, if, those, if those nine foot beings come back, don't call us, all right? Deal with it yourself. That, I ain't dealing with that. <laughs> so, yeah, this is quite weird, Brian was saying during as we're watching this story. Now, we've been in, been in contact with the family in that video, and as you heard in that 911 call, they seem very reasonable mm -hmm. and honestly quite scared as you heard them in the call. No, um, it, they don't seem impaired in any way. And whatever crashed by the time that police got there was gone. But sources say that there's really no dispute. Something was in their yard exactly what? We do not know. I mean, it's so interesting. So, like, the metro officers see something, the neighbors see something. I mean, so what could it be? Well, we know that there are obviously a lot of military bases around this area. Uh, George Knapp covers a lot of that stuff for us on the 80s now investigators. We're showing you drone video from above that area. And we know, of course, Creech not far away, Nellis Air Force Base not far. I checked in with them. They say they are not involved at all, and we are waiting to hear from the Pentagon as well. Hmm. And you talk to these people, it seemed completely legitimate to you, and, and do you have any personal thoughts on maybe what it was? Right, so it seems from talking to our sources that something happened. There was obviously some flash in the sky. A lot of people saw it that night on uh, the night of April 30th, early in the morning on May 1st. Did that exact thing land in their yard? I don't know, 
but these people said they saw some SUV circling the area. Could this have, could this have been some piece of equipment that malfunctioned? Maybe they saw something and then someone came. I can't believe we're talking about this. <laughs> right. Someone came and Picked retrieved it, it from the backyard <laughs> right. in the SUV. We don't know. This all comes as uh, a former high level intelligence officer, an air a veteran, was on News Nation talking about how there is a program where the government collects some unidentified objects. So this might be that. We just don't know. We're going to work to find and, out though. And Brian no Dewey. substances. They were looking no with clear substances. eyes. Goodness. Very interesting. Not report. big buggy eyes though. This, like is, <laughs> this is really unique. Thank you, David.